Well, guys, welcome to this week's um, training here. I see some new faces. Uh, I think it's Aisha Padilla. Um, thanks for being here. Uh, Inus's iPhone. Jason Ward is on here. Jose Puente is on here. Ashley Pena is on here. Thanks for being here and tuning in. Um, Clay Cowley is going to be leading us through this. Um, he has been a part of our group for a while now. Um, and congratulate him on his first closed and funded deal as of today. So that's super exciting. Good for you, Clay. Um, and Congrats, Clay. He, yeah, totally cool. Thanks. Uh, he has been doing a little bit of work with Google pay per click, um, and setting up landing pages and squeeze pages and all that. Um, I'm going to hand it over to him and he's going to talk a little bit about how he set that up um, and how you might be able to do the same for your business um, and see if that's something that you want to do. Uh, <laughs> Ashley says, congratulations. And uh, Ina nice. says, hi, everyone. So um, Clay, take it away. You should be able to share your screen and the stage is yours. Excellent. All right. So I'm going to take you on a... Uh, down and dirty. Oh, I get it. show video panel. Yeah, so I can see it. All right, I'm gonna take you on a show, uh, like a, a kind of a down and dirty, quick kind of thing, because this will take a, a little bit of a while for you to kind of get the hang of it. But if you've got uh, your KV core open, or anybody who's everybody, hopefully, uh, if you're EXP. So the first thing, the, the very first thing that you need to do is you need to figure out where you're going to target your uh, ads to. I, I have three ads targeting right now. I just started to one in New Braunfels, one Bernie, and uh, I'm targeting Alamo Heights right now. But you can target a niche neighborhood. So say you want to target, uh, um, let's say, Stone Oak, or you want to go target uh, Alamo Ranch. Everybody's buying out at Alamo Ranch, right? You can do the same thing that you can do in RPR when you're building your campaign. So um, I'm going to just do a generic one right now um, that we can uh, you can see from. So I've got my KV Core open, and uh, I'm going to go to my lead engine, and uh, we're going to build a squeeze page from there. So um, Let's say we're going to target um, uh, Alamo Ranch, right? So I'm going to put on here Alamo Ranch um, neighborhood right there. OK, that is what I'm going to do. So I'm not going to put anything in in beds or minimum or anything like that, because what we're ultimately trying to do is we're trying to drive information from when someone clicks on your Google campaign, they're going to go to this squeeze page and it's going to show them Alamo Ranch, everything in Alamo Ranch, right? That's what they're looking for. So uh, page confirmation uh, configuration, you're going to put Google because that's where you're going to actually go and um that's that's what you're you're targeting this ad for is google hashtags you can add a hashtag in there if you want and you can say alamo ranch so you kind of know uh what you know where you want to if you're using hashtags in your in your campaign at all so you don't have to i'm not going to use a hashtag for now but you can put a hashtag in there put alamo ranch or however if you're if you're driving them from your um, Google page and they click on your, your um, KV core on your, on your squeeze page. And then they ultimately sign up on your um, and start looking on your page. If you put the hashtag Alamo ranch, it'll automatically KV core is very smart like that. It'll automatically start feeding them Alamo ranch, you know, stuff as well. Once they register on your, on your business page. But and we'll get to that anyway. Uh, says Facebook cover photo. You can you're gonna put use uh, recent listings from your uh, from search results. And then what's really important here when you're building this page is instead of the two default, you want to put immediate because once they they click on your Google ad on your campaign, 
they're automatically going to go to your campaign page and they're going to once they get on there you want them if they're very interested this is how you're going to build that you the ones who are very interested are going to register right away on there so that you can start uh, and then start searching for homes so you want them to sign up right away not to but right away all right so we've done all that and now we want to generate a link. And I found that Google does not like the short links when you're building your campaign. So I use the, uh, the long link, which is the direct one. Also, what you also need to remember is, is you need to, I think it's down here, I've already got it. Okay. So what I've done is I go in here, I track my campaigns, right? Every campaign that I do, I built an Excel spreadsheet. I go in there and I track my campaign. So I have campaign name, squeeze page link, the description of that, when I created it, if I used a hashtag on it or not. And then, uh, can you see that? Uh, we can't see the Excel oh, spreadsheet. Let me, let me move it. Let me move my Excel spreadsheet over here. Sorry, so you can see. There we it. go. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it just needs to be smaller. Uh, okay, there you go. So yep. you can see my squeeze page, uh, what I have on here. So let me go back to the front here. Campaign name. That's the campaign. We're going to do a new campaign. So we're calling this one Alamo Ranch. And I'm going to take that link that we created here. And I'm going to copy this link. And I'm going to post it in my Excel spreadsheet here. I'm going to post the long link here. And then I'm going to put, these are uh, squeeze page description, Alamo Ranch, Google campaign, or whatever you want to name it, you know. Today's day, you, you guys got the picture with that. Hashtag, if you want to, you can put Alamo, whatever you want on there, okay? I also have information on here so I can track that, how many it's converted, where it's coming from. This is a Google, that's where it's posted at. It's a Google page. And then uh, we already have uh, the link. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test out this link and I'm gonna make sure that this link works. So we are going to... Um, I don't know how to, geez. Does anybody know how to get rid of that box? <laughs> yeah, I I ask every time and uh, we haven't figured it out yet. It's in the way. New tab. Um, shoot. I can't figure out how to drag this thing down to um, Sorry, I'm gonna stop screen share for just a second so I can get this page. Yeah. Um, okay. Jesus. All right, here we go. Sorry, y'all. I'm a little technically challenged today. Everybody can see that? Uh, you're not sharing right now. Now you are. Here we go. Yeah, we <laughs> perfect. That. Sorry. Okay. So we have this. Uh, 
page. Now we're going to test this page. We're going to copy and paste it. We're going to uh, paste and go and look at our uh, Alamo Ranch web page. Okay, so we know that our Alamo Ranch, anybody who's searching for homes in Alamo Ranch, we know that that link's going to work, right? So we've already done that. So the next step is, is we're going to, uh, going to go to Google. So now we know that that page works. Let's go to Google and let's uh, build our, let's go to our Google ads, right? So now we need to make a Google ads. Um, yes. So now you need to, so now you need to log in, set yourself up a campaign in Google ads, right? So you're going to sign, so you're going to actually, you would hit start now. And um, let me, let me get back to Google ads. All right, Google Ads, here we go. So you're gonna sign in, you're gonna um, set yourself up a, uh, I'm gonna go to start now, I already, let me, actually I should have gone to, it's already figured out who I am. So after you set your um, campaign up or your, or your information, you sign in, you're gonna need to give them your credit card information and all of that, okay? Once you set up your information, you set up your Google Ads account. After you set up your Google Ads account, you're going to go through. It's going to ask you to uh, set up your first campaign. So we're going to go to over here to notifications. Let me get a hold of. Let me get rid of this here. Um, I go to help, and then uh, you can go to guided steps. So we're gonna. Uh, create a draft campaign and we're going to get started creating a draft campaign. So when you're setting up your campaign for Google ads, the really the biggest thing that you need to remember is that you, what you want to do with that Google, with that campaign. Okay. We're going to get started. It's just walking us through how to set up our campaign. We're going to leave all that. Okay. So the first thing that we want to do is how do we want, what do we want our campaign to do? Right. Our campaign, we want clicks. That's what we're going after. And you need to remember when you're setting up your Google ad account that um, you don't want to, I set mine up for 10 bucks a day. So what that means is, is that I, if I get a maximum number of clicks and it goes over and when I hit 10 bucks during that day, my ad's not going to show anymore. Why do I do that? Because then it sets up that, Google will not overcharge me and that I can set up like three, I could set it up for um, about $300 a month and I could spend it on one ad or I'm not overspending in an ad, right? So it won't let me go over 10 bucks a day. So I said, what is your maximum uh, click per bid? Generally, you want it, what, what I do is to keep my costs low as I set it up for 150. And what that means is that every time somebody clicks, I want to keep my ad anywhere from 150 on down. So that way, one, it keeps your cost low and you're not overspending and you're watching your um, amount. Because once you put your credit card information there, Google's automatically um, charging your card, right? So that way you can uh, um, keep your costs low, like I said. All right. So next thing on your campaign, we're setting up our campaign. I don't want to set the include search uh, partners because I'm trying to target San Antonio. I'm trying to target Alamo Heights. I don't want to do Google Display Network because 
one, you're going to be paying extra for those searches, and though they just don't really get you anywhere. So I wouldn't uh, uh, click Google Search Partners or Google Display Network. Okay. The next thing is, where do I want my ad to show? I'm in the United States. Of course, I want it to show in the United States. And you could set it for just people in San Antonio, but you don't want to do that because, right, we have a lot of people coming in from out of town who are going to search as well up from all across who might be in California searching here in Alamo Heights. You don't want to target just a specific area, a group of people. So leave it open for anywhere in the United States for them uh, to turn. It's already set it for English. That's what your audience is. And um, you could add Spanish in there if you wanted to, if you're a Spanish speaker and wanted to target some Spanish speaking uh, audience. So um, uh, we're not going to put, uh, so audience segments, we're not, I wouldn't select anything from uh, audience segments uh, in this one, and I would keep going. So um, we're going to click um, on our campaign segments. We're not going to click anywhere here on, on there. So the next step is for us. You could put real estate. I, I It really doesn't really matter what you click on there. OK. Enter your URL. So this is what you're going to put on the enter your URL portion. You're going to enter your uh, business page here. So my business page is, this is not the final URL where you're going to uh, put your post, your um, squeeze page that we did. So I'm going to put my uh, URL to my business, which is clayton.cali.exprealty.com. And because they're gonna, that's gonna target drive them not only to your business, to your uh, your website, but also to that um, squeeze page that we built as well. Inner products or services that you uh, you could put homes for sale here if you wanted. Uh, you don't have to put anything in there really. Um, they'll give you keywords to suggest uh, there. So. This is what's important about building your Google page is keywords. So keywords, what, what keywords are gonna drive you to uh, for sale in, in Alamo Heights? So one of the things that Google does is over here in the tools and settings, if you see that right here, it goes down has keyword planner. I'm gonna go over here I'm going to save this campaign and um, actually, let me go over here. Uh, sorry, I can't spell. Google Ads Key Word Planner. Okay, so, so we're gonna put we're gonna plan the keywords that need to go in, and this is the most important part of anything that you're you're doing. So let's discover some new keywords. We're targeting Alamo Ranch, right? So we're gonna put in here Alamo Ranch homes for sale. And it's going to give us all a bunch of keywords of what of people looking at homes in Alamo Heights, Alamo Ranch. All right. So Alamo Ranch, the keyword here is let's open this up so we can see all these keywords. So Alamo Ranch homes for sale. When you look at this, now you're going to figure out how what keywords people are searching by. Every one of these numbers is the average number of searches that people are searching by in Alamo Ranch. So 480 is a good amount of people in there. So we know that the keyword for Alamo Ranch homes for sale 
is anything above anything above 200 is is a good amount of people that you're going to click. So we know that 210 people are searching for houses for sale in Alamo Ranch. We know that Alamo Ranch homes for sale that people at 480 people are searching for the, those clicks. Okay, for those uh, homes using that keyword. Next is if you're looking at your all over here is what the top bid is. So we put a dollar fifty for our bids max. So this says that it's three dollars for the top bid, four sixty three. We're in there. We want to keep our our clicks per cost at less than a dollar fifty a click. And if we put in Alamo Ranch homes for sale in our keywords, and we put in houses for sale in Alamo Ranch in our keywords, our key, we could get our clicks down to 69 cents and 65 cents uh, a click there. Let's, uh, um, so going back to our um, screen here, uh, I'm trying to get back to our uh, other one. Let me do remote control. Uh, anybody a Zoom uh, expert here? What are you trying to do? Meeting controls. Oh, there it is. Hide floating meeting controls, Tony. <laughs> oh. Okay. All right. There it is. Okay. So let's go back. We're going to fix our errors here. So enter keywords. What we're going to do is we are going to enter our keywords here. Okay. And we know over from this platform that Alamo Ranch Homes for Sale are is a, we have 480 key, uh, um, 81, 80, 80 clicks for that a, a month. Also, we have how, houses for sale, Alamo Ranch. That is a good keyword. So we're gonna copy that one and we're gonna take that back to our, we're gonna go down here and we're gonna put that in the next line. You'll have to like put it in each one, okay. So we're going to use these two keywords for Alamo Ranch. Is everybody with me so far? Is, have I lost anybody at all? No, everybody's good. Okay, I'll keep going because I'm like talking fast and moving. So um, Alamo Ranch homes for sale, houses for sale, and Alamo Ranch. We know that those two good are good keywords. One we said was 480 clicks a month, and 210. So people are clicking on uh, Alamo Ranch, okay? So now we need to go down here and look at this. On, on the bottom, it says match types of uh, controls for search triggers in your keywords. Okay, it says keyword equals broad match. You're gonna put in uh, a um, quotation marks uh, equals a quotation mark, uh, sorry. Um, if you just put in the word and you don't put it in quotations, it's going to broad match it. What does broad match mean? Broad match in Google's terms means that it's going to look at all kinds of different uh, matches when somebody is searching for um, uh, Alamo Ranch homes for sale, but it may not come up as Alamo Ranch homes for sale. It might come up in a different search for something different. So you don't want to put anything in broad match. Phrase match means that when someone's searching in Google and they say, I'm looking, I'd like to look at a luxury home in, in Alamo Ranch. You have Alamo Ranch and you have homes for sale. So if they put luxury homes for sale in Alamo Ranch, your keywords will trigger your ad for them to pop up. Does that make sense to everybody? So even if you don't put luxury in there, but you put Alamo Ranch homes for sale, and this person says luxury homes for sale in Alamo Ranch, you have clicked on, you have met that trigger 
for your ad for them to click on your ad. Okay. Exact match is exactly what it says. It's an exact phrase. If they put in Alamo Ranch Homes for Sale, that's what's going to trigger your ad. But the best magic that I've found is, is by putting Alamo Ranch Homes for Sale and doing phrase match always, always phrase match. Don't worry about broad match. Don't worry about exact match. Always use phrase match because if they trigger a word in there, it's going to trigger your ad to show. Does that make sense? Okay, so in order to do phrase match, we're gonna to have to put it in quotations. So let's put it in quotations so that we know that this is gonna be a phrase match. Okay, so we have keywords of Alamo Ranch homes for sale, houses for sale and Alamo Ranch. All right, next is final URL. So you remember our uh, URL from our that we posted that we made already from our uh, squeeze page, right? Now we're going to go get that URL. I've saved it right here. So I'm going to copy. And then I'm going to paste this URL right here. Let me make sure it is in there. It's long. Boom. Okay. So that's going to be my final URL. So where, so what's going to happen is you want to, when someone wants Alamo Ranch homes for sale and your ad triggers, they're going to click on your, when they click on your ad, the final place that they're going to be sent to is your squeeze page that you built for Alamo Ranch. So they're going to see all the homes in Alamo Ranch because that's what they're searching for, right? We're targeting Alamo Ranch homes. They want Alamo Ranch homes. We're giving them Alamo Ranch homes. Does that make sense to everybody? Okay. So we put our squeeze page. That's the final URL where we're going to go uh, list there. Our display path is our business page. We've already put that in there. So we're good to go on there. Our headline what are we going to do on our headline, right? So what I've found is we're someone searching for Alamo Ranch Homes. We're going to put Alamo Ranch Homes for sale. Okay, we're under 30 characters, right? That's, that's the, it says right over here, 30 characters of where it is, uh, of what they're going to, uh, of how many you can put in that uh, headline. So we've already put Alamo Ranch Homes for sale. Now we wanna add some, some magic to it, right? So what I put in here is I put top 10, sorry, top 10 homes for sale. Or I, actually I, I would just put, you could just put top 10, top 10, homes for sale. And if you look to the right, as I'm typing this out, you can see what my ad is going to be like right here. This is what the ad is going to look like when I'm done with it, right? So top 10 homes for sale. My next headline is, uh, so if they want to, if they're searching through Zillow, you know, um, uh, you could also go back in and you could say, I put search like a realtor in here, right? They're going to see that. They're going to, it's going to capture them, right? Top 10 homes for sale, Alamo Ranch homes for sale. And each one of these headlines is going to, going to keep, uh, are going to rotate through here, through your campaign. But so what I'd like to do is my top one, this little pin box here, I'm going to click that pin box. And it's going to show in position one always. So always when they click on my ad, the first thing that they're going to see is Alamo Ranch Homes for Sale. That's what they're Googling. I want them to see that. So I pin that as my number one. So it will never rotate uh, on these other two. Okay. The other two top 10 homes for sale, search like a realtor, they might uh, rotate, but always Alamo Ranch Homes for Sale is going to be in the top one. So when they click, that's what they're going to get. I like to 
give them what they want to see. So the next one is you can put different headlines in there, but I feel like if you're, you're, what you're doing is this is an Alamo Ranch Homes for Sale, right? You want to put uh, things in there that are going to entice them to click on your ad. So you can add other headlines in there that you think you know, if you're doing luxury homes for sale in Al uh, Alamo Heights or Alamo Ranch or wherever, you could put luxury homes for sale in Alamo Ranch or Alamo Heights in, and get them to entice them that way. If you could build a squeeze page and target luxury homes in Alamo Ranch and put a specific number, if you're luxury 500 to 1.2 or whatever it is, and you have a lot of homes out there in an area that you're trying to target, you could do luxury however you want to build that headline. So I, I hope that kind of makes sense on the headline and how you want to do it. Your description. Okay, so what I do on the description uh, at, uh, is um, I am going to put on here, I'm gonna put my description. So when they click on my ad, it's gonna say virtual tours, walk score, showing me walk score. I'm going to do, I put in street view. So, and then I'm going to put and more. And you just need to remember that, that Google doesn't like a lot of, uh, of commas and extra characters, but if you do it sparingly in your description, you're good. So, I put in virtual tours, walk score, street view, and more things that they're going to, you know, that they think about when they're trying to um, uh, kick your ad. So now I'm going to put in sign up for instant access and receive. daily email updates. So when they click on your ad, that's what they're doing. You see it, it post up here where I wrote it on there on the description on the ad. And you could add a second description if you wanted to add more in there about what they're searching for. Does that make sense so far? Everybody's with me? All right, perfect. Okay, so um, what I do is the next thing is um, uh, on my ad, you can add more site links, but um, I mean, basically you've already put in for your, it says for more performance, but I don't usually do that. You've already put your um, final URL, which is where you're trying to drive them to in there. And then uh, we already have, we, I don't fill out any of this information here. This is just all extra stuff. Um, you could put your, uh, I, I do sometimes add a phone number. So I'll add my phone number here in the in, in case they want to call me. So I'll, I'll put it in there and I'll apply it because it'll ask you for your phone number. And the, the biggest thing that you should remember too is you want a Google business page. If you don't have a Google business page, set yourself up a Google business page because that's, that is magic as well. They're going to search you out, and if they look at your stuff and they see your, your that you have a Google business page, you're more likely to get more clicks because they're looking and they're like, oh, okay, this is, um, you know, Tony, this is, you know, Clay, he's got a Google business page. He's probably legit. Let, let me click on his ad too. 
Um, and then the next thing is, is we're going to click, let's go ahead and Okay, what it's showing, oh, I also, let me go back to the ad itself. What it's showing right here is what we're looking at right now is what, when, if you're on your phone, this is your mobile phone and what the ad looks like on your mobile phone. Okay, if you click over here, this is what your ad's going to look like on, uh, um, on um, a computer desktop. Then what you also need to do is go back in here is um, uh, in previewing your ad, I'm gonna hit next here. Okay, we've already uh, determined, uh, uh, we have set already determined a budget, but we'll go back in here and we'll set a custom budget again. So uh, like I said, it's gonna give you an idea. My daily budget for me is 10 bucks. I, I think I could afford 10 bucks a day. I, I don't care if it says uh, less than 15, 18 will prevent your ads showing as often as they could. I'm trying to save money. I'm not trying to like blow my wad and, you know, and just like uh, all of a sudden look down and I, for some reason, I haven't logged on in a few days or I get like I got kicked out of Facebook and I'm not able to see my ad and it's not running for some reason. I, I want to still want to be able to manage the amount of money. So that's why I set that average daily budget of 10 bucks. Okay. So I don't care what it says recommended. I'm going to set what I feel comfortable with and you should too. What is my campaign? Let's name it. We're going to name that campaign. At, we're going to name it uh, Alamo Ranch Homes. Shoot. Or so my mouth goes faster than my brain. Um, maximum clicks. Yep. Uh, we know we've already set that. We have keywords. We have a maximum budget of ten per day. Okay. So. Um, you could get more than one click of the same budget if you create a site link. I, I I don't put a site link in there, but you could fix it and you could go put a site link in there as well if you if you felt like you wanted to do that. Oh, um, and then click next, next. Now we're gonna publish this campaign. So after we we're done, we're gonna publish this campaign. And what happens after we publish the campaign? I'm going to show you some of my, my what my campaigns all go uh, right now. So uh, my current uh, campaigns are all of my, I'm going to show you all of my campaigns. So once I have uh, already started this Alamo Ranch Homes for Sale, and Google is now learning my bid strategy. They're also looking at my campaign. Your campaign won't go live right away, okay? Google's going to look at your campaign, make sure everything fits, that it's within their um, uh, uh, restrictions and all of the Google um, uh, things that they want you to, you know, make sure your campaign's legal and all that. They're going to go through it. And, and it takes probably maybe within an hour, 45 minutes or so usually your campaign will start to um, uh, to run, okay? So I have a campaign and I have it set up. This is Alamo Heights Home for Sale. I'm gonna take you through some of my analytics, right? So what is important about your campaign? So if you look at your Alamo Heights, my Alamo Heights campaign, I've had uh, 200 clicks and 1,217 impressions. That means 1,217 people have kind of looked at my campaign. It's been running on Google ads. It's been seeing people have been seeing it. People are looking at it. People are clicking on it. My average click rate right now, I have spent $356 on this campaign, $356. I have two potential clients right now. One is in the 845 range in Alamo Heights looking at a home. 
their potential move from Houston to San Antonio, or it's a second home for them. But she's in the 845. She clicked on my uh, campaign. She went through and saw my squeeze page. And then she went to my website and she logged in and signed in and started looking at homes in Alamo Heights. And I called her up and they are uh, looking to buy and they're coming here in two weeks. So um, what you're looking at here is you wanna keep your cost per click less than $2 of cost per click. 356, uh, my campaign has been running about six weeks now, about six weeks. So I've spent $356 in about six weeks and I've had 16 leads go into my KV core from uh, my Alamo Heights um, uh, campaign. Um, I'll go back to my other one. So my other one, it, I just started this new new clip, new one in Bernie right now, about a week and a half ago or so, I started Bernie and New Braunfels. I've had, so earlier when I looked at this a few, uh, an hour ago before the meeting, I only had like three, one click in New Braunfels. I've got four more now. So I've had a total of five clicks. That campaign's been running about a week. Um, my, uh, Click here for Bernie is, I've only had one, but she registered and she got on my uh, um, account and she's looking at homes in Bernie. And that one cost me 19 cents. If you can, what the most important thing when you're building your Google keywords is, keywords is everything. So when you go up here to your keywords, go into all of this up here in the tools and settings. If you go into those tools and settings, it will tell you everything about your campaign and you can start searching. Google uh, has a lot of educational pieces in there that will tell you how to set up your campaign. You can go over here to, uh, you can look at your billing, what you've been billed for. You can go to the performance planner. The keyword planning is everything. If you're getting ready to build a campaign and you're gonna target a audience, Go to that keyword campaign, uh, keyword planner first, or Google keyword planner. We were in Alamo, Alamo Ranch, and I wanted to look up something else in there, something I didn't look up earlier How to add to that campaign. Let's look up Zillow. And I did this on my Alamo Heights campaign. Uh, Zillow. Eh. Uh, Alamo Ranch, right? Post for homes <laughs> for sale. <laughs> I, I told you my mouth, my, my my mouth runs faster than anything else. Let and then let's get some results. Look at that and see what happens. Okay, only 70 clicks, that's not a lot, but it's look, we could go back in here and we could rearrange that to look at, uh, um, what's, the, what's the other one, Zillow? I mean, we could, realtor.com, you could put in realtor.com. Uh, Well, so, so none of them show up, but sometimes they do. I mean, it didn't show up for this one, but sometimes they do. Let me go back and I'll go back to my, uh, my Google ads, my campaigns. I'm going to get, we'll go over here to my Alamo Heights one. Let me click on that and I'll show you my, uh, all of my, uh, what I have in here. Alamo Heights, San Antonio homes for sale. Alamo Heights homes for sale. Each one of these, if, and I'll show you how uh, it, it, it does. Alamo Heights, uh, Homes for Sale, Alamo Heights, San Antonio. Each one of those, when you go back in and you go to the keyword planner and you do keyword planner, 
and you discover new words. Look, when someone is searching for homes in Alamo Heights, Alamo Heights Homes for Sale, there is a thousand people clicking on, Al uh, searching Alamo Ho Heights Homes for Sale a month, a thousand. 320 for Alamo Heights San Antonio Homes for Sale. Homes for Sale in Alamo Heights, 480. Those are all your keywords that will lock people in and tell, you know, how, uh, look, I was telling you Zillow, Alamo Heights, Zillow. Someone with four, 260 people search Alamo Heights, uh, Zillow uh, on their, in their search. So in your keywords, if you have Alamo Heights, Zillow, and someone says Zillow, Alamo Heights homes for sale, boom. You know, it's going to trigger your campaign. They're going to click on it. It's going to take them to your um, squeeze page that you built. And then it's going to take them on. Uh, uh, and then they're going to log into your um, regular uh, KV Core uh, website. And um, they're going to start searching. And then that's where you, you, you grab them. And then you start calling them up in, in leads. So I... I hope that I didn't go too fast and that you under, you can kind of understand how to build yourself a Google ads campaign and uh, set it up. So is there any questions uh, that I might answer that somebody might have on a campaign or, or building one or anything? This is a, this is a stupid question kind of, um, but it's obviously pay per click. So Correct. if it's not getting much clicks, you're not paying anything. Um, Correct. And then if you're getting, if you had a viral one, just go crazy. The maximum you're spending is a ten dollars a day. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Got it. Okay. Um, and each click, let's just say you had a viral um, campaign, and mm -hmm. uh, it's ten dollars a day. Approximately, how many clicks is that? Did, do well, we know? We don't. We don't know how many clicks that is it, it, because it doesn't matter really how many clicks it is. It's only going to, you can look on there and see kind of uh, with your, like I said, when you go back to your, uh, let me go back to my campaign here. Uh, keywords. When I go back to my Alamo Heights uh, campaign, and I'm looking at it, I've, I've had, you know, 200 clicks and, you know, in, but I've had like 1,217 people look at my campaign. So um, I don't really know how many uh, overall 1,217 people are looking at my campaign and that the impressions are really what is driving your campaign higher on the scale so that when you go and you look when you Google Alamo Heights homes for sale and uh, boom, I'm at the top of the list. So you go to the page wow. and you Google me you Google, I'm at the top of the list right there. My campaign wow. is number one on the page at the top of the Google list. So you know what that comes down to? That comes down to uh, having the right keywords. If your keywords, like I was showing you, match those phrases in there, you're, you're, you are going to, it's going to turn you up uh, to the top of the list in the section that you're looking for. Keywords is everything in the Google. When you're doing your keyword planner, that is everything. Think of anything and everything that someone would look to search for a home in the area that you are trying to target. And that's what will get you up to there. You see, you see it right here. My, I'm at the top <laughs> of the list. I'm, my name's right there. 
Yeah. Yeah. That's <laughs> pretty cool. You know, looking for, uh, that is pretty cool. I feel pretty, pretty, <laughs> pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. You're above Realty San Antonio as a whole brokerage. Hey, Look at that. I know. <laughs> so, so I'm telling you, people are doing this. And if you're targeting and you, it, it is a good, I feel like it's going to be a good lead generation source for me. It's going to, it's already turning uh, into a, a good lead source already. Did and, you, uh, uh, well, I mean, exactly. So uh, $10 a day, that's $300 a month, you know, and, and that might be a little bit steep for somebody that's just starting or whatever, don't, doesn't have the financial backing, but you do that times 12 for the whole year, that's $3,600 you spent. But I mean, if you just close even one deal, I mean, it's going to make up for the entire year and then some, you know, and yeah. uh, if you're running that consistently, you know, I mean, I think the, oh, and, and the, you can yeah. set your campaign to turn it off and on to in the settings, you can set it for a certain amount of time and then you, you can turn it off and then you can rerun it if you want to. Yeah. So and I mean, even if you went, went a little bit cheaper, like $5 a day, you know, you, that, you know, obviously it wouldn't populate as much as somebody that's spending $10 a day, but it would still generate something, I would think. It would. Five bucks, it, you can set it for five bucks. I, I, I know that some do. Yeah. Um, I, I just wanted to kind of be at the top and see how many, you know, where I could be and yeah, ten bucks seems to be magic right now, so I'm gonna keep it at like ten bucks for me. Um, have you uh, have you done before you got knocked off? Did you do any of this stuff on Facebook or no? Facebook no, ads. No, I, I you could do the pretty much the same thing on Facebook by building yourself a squeeze page yeah. and doing it on there. I really hadn't messed with like advertising much on Facebook because it's just I I just hadn't played with it that much. Yeah. So I don't even know how I got knocked off, but I, I don't even know. I don't share a lot of content on my real estate page, but someone turned it in and they That's just wild. locked me completely down. So I'm either out of business for 30 days and, or I'm completely out of business and I've got to restart all over my accounts. And I've had my Facebook page, my personal page, sir, for. Yeah. Well, cool. Since Facebook started, you know, I'm old. I'm a dinosaur. <laughs> well, no, Clay, hey, I really appreciate you uh, taking the time to walk us through this. Uh, it is recorded, guys, so you can go back and go, how did he do that? You know, what, what is he looking up there? So you can review all that. Um, that's all we got. Uh, it, does anybody have any questions for Clay? Like I said, uh, we'll post this and um, be able to rewatch it on your own time if you need to figure out how to do that. But Thanks, Clay. I really appreciate it. And thanks, everybody, for being here.